Still likes hearing that. Love that sound, right? But speaking of a battle, we saw a great one in the 200 butterfly, but this one, folks, may be even better. Valerme Guido in lane number five has won this event five times. Clement Kolesnikov has won this event three times. Grievers one time, and Orie down in lane number one has two wins. And in this season, Guido, Kolesnikov, and Orie all with two wins. Yeah, so they're going to break the tie. Who's going to do the hat trick here? There's Irie. He'll come back on him. He's done that a couple times here in the 100. He did it in the 200. Kalashnikov, 49-16 this season. It's 28 one-hundredths of a second off the world record. We've got to start thinking world record watch every time one of these guys jump in the water. Little, little mix-up. The only one swimmer in history has gotten to that 48.88 mark. It looks like they're going to adjust. Those are the are backstroke the, start? Yeah, those are the backstroke wedges. They're a relatively new innovation for swimming. They came on about four or five years ago. Haven't had any problems or issues with them up to this point. That is Kalashnikov making sure that it's exactly the way he wants it to be. And again, that makes a big difference in the start. Well, it, it take, well, and, and it takes the mental edge off of you. It can anyway, because now you all of a sudden have to worry about that. Not good start for Kalashnikov. If you're looking for time, he's 0.63. He was one of the slowest off the blocks. Could that have affected him there? Diener looked really good to start this battle. He's up in lane number six. We didn't even talk about him because he hasn't won this Hunter Baxter yet, but he and Guido out really quick. Can they go one, two for London? Well, Guido went 49-4 on the relay. That is his best time of the season. He saved that for the relay, and that was a huge momentum builder for London, and one of the reasons why they won. Here comes Kalashnikov right next to him in that red cap. Guido's got a great turn, though. Ah, but Kolesnikov even better underwater. Kolesnikov breaks out first, and energy back on top. 49-38. And he just destroyed the field the last 25. He and Arie both came home in 25-1 and 25-4, respectively. And Guido just had nothing, no idea what hit him. I mean, he was there, 23-8 going out. That was underworld record split. You could see him playing with that backstroke wedge right there and making sure it's tight. And he, I think he felt a little frustration. It cost him a little bit on the start. So I, I think he, again, showed a lot of poise, Bernie. That, that's the key for this youngster, to be able to show the poise, not let it affect you that first 50, kind of build the first 50, kind of get your mind straight, and then burn that last 25, which is what he did. 49-3, just off his best time of the season. And he wins in jackpot fashion, 15 points as he snatches away some of the points from the New York Breakers. So 20 points in that battle. And look at the lead now, 372 points. Right as you stand at